Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today I'm gonna to be putting some locked off-road bump stops on the Tacoma. It's got a coil over set up with radius arms from WFO Concepts. For any of you guys that haven't seen the truck yet, this is it. This is my O2 Tacoma 3.4 automatic. Started out as a pre-runner with the truck's got 500 and I think it's 543,000 miles on it now. The truck had, I think, 532, something like that, whenever I built it. The truck's been built for about a year now, uh, so quite a bit of miles on it, really. It's been to California and back. Uh, I live in Missouri, so it's pretty roadworthy. Uh, I have a video on my channel just kind of giving a quick run down with some pictures of it so if you want to see that you can go check it out so here's the truck at ride height as you can see I've got my preload set a little tight on the coilovers which I figured would happen because my spring rates were a little low uh, since I've done this or set up the truck I should say I've added the the bumper that I built and the winch and Whatnot. So it's weighted down a little bit more than I anticipated and truthfully, I mean, I guess the sliders probably pulling it down a little too. So I'm in the works of putting a little stiffer springs top and bottom on the coilover and then right about there we're going to have us a bump stop. Full disclosure, I'm not a coilover specialist nor a suspension specialist. So this video is purely for your fun and enjoyment. All right, here's the bump stops, locked off road. These are the 2.0 four inch travel, which hopefully works out in the long run for my application. So as you can see, these are adjustable, come with a sleeve top and bottom. So that's an advantage to the locked off-road shock. I got the cash in the bag, stadium pack. Born a rock star in this life, gone live it up on the attack. Baby, I'm bad. I just wanna get caught up in this life. I'm crazy, I'm mad. Doing no cap. Only God wants you better go live it up. Cash in the bag, stadium pack. Baby, I'm bad. Yeah. Baby, I'm bad. I just wanna stay bad, stay mad, shit by my shoulder cause they treat me like an outcast I ain't gonna take that, stay back, I'll be swinging hard till the hits coming off Alright guys, it's the next day, paint set, bump stops are in These are the 4 inch travel, so they ended up pretty much flush with the frame as you can see I guess if you get level Um I kind of have them in the middle of the adjustment right now. They're kind of loud hitting, contacting on the factory super duty pad there. But that's kind of the advantage to this whole setup is I was actually able to utilize the factory link mounts and the bump stop. So it was pretty fair install. But just so you have an idea of what it looks like, there it is. This is the driver's side. As you can see, I ended up moving my reservoir for the coilover um, up in the fender well. And this is the packaging on it. Side note on the bump stops. I have these set to whatever pressures that locked off-road sent them to me with. So they seem a little stiff. Um, and I only have them, uh, if you can see, they're about an inch off of the pad. So I'm going to play with the pressures and see where I go with them. So that's a wrap on the bump stop video. If you have any questions, let me know. I'm anxious to see what everyone thinks on the pressures they're running on different setups and things. But after a little research and tuning on them, uh, hopefully get them to where they're not so loud on contact and stuff. But appreciate you guys watching and catch you next time.